10 Strange Animal Survival Adaptations. Number 10, The Naked Mole Rat, which I'm sure many of you know from Kim Possible. Shout out Rufus, he was a true homie. Is a very weird creature. I mean, yeah, they are naked, but that's not actually the quirky thing about them. It's actually the fact that they don't really feel pain on their skin. They're edgy like that. In reality, it's actually really important because naked mole rats live in underground tunnels that are rough, narrow, and physically abrasive. Imagine being able to feel those tunnels constantly when moving around. That would be hell! Now, keep in mind, they aren't immune to pain. That would suck because imagine they get impaled by a sharp rock and just carry on like nothing happened only to, well, bleed out without realizing. This is more being insensitive to certain types of pain like those felt while navigating the tunnels. It is extremely important that they are immune to this pain so that they're able to traverse underground. Number 9. The Thorny Devil is a lizard only found in the Australian deserts and has the ability to collect water through its skin. Its body is covered with an intricate design of layered scales, and between each scale is a hinge joint that allows the thorny boy to collect water and transport it to the back of its mouth through a tubular system under its skin with the power of capillary action. These thorny devils are essentially covered in straws, so when it rains, these little dudes can simply stand in a puddle and water will just be drawn up into their mouths. Number 8. The Alpine Ibex is a wild goat found in the European Alps, and unlike other goats, they practically have suction cups for feet. The Ibex has a unique cloven hoof that is made of a tough outer rim that surrounds a soft concave center, like a suction cup. These hooves give these goat boyos the ability to have unrivaled grip on the steepest slopes in the mountainous region. Here, see for yourself. I'd compare them to Spider-Man, but they're walking up the walls horizontally so smoothly that it just looks like a glitch in the Matrix. Their ability to walk up these super steep walls is important to their survival, as it allows them to lick salt deposits that are essential to their diet, and more obviously, help them escape predators that can only look in awe as they see these goats running up the mountain walls as if it were nothing. Number 7. Wood frogs are rather ordinary looking dudes, yet they have a really neat adaptation that lets them survive harsh winters. They have built-in antifreeze. Yeah. These frogs are found all over North America, from Southeast US all the way to the Canadian subarctic, and as far north as Brooks Range, Arctic Alaska. Unlike other animals that seek shelter from the cold, these guys chill out in leaf litters across the forest floor, which, mind you, is exposed to sub-freezing temperatures in the winter. Now, to survive the harsh conditions, these frogs have evolved to have the ability to freeze solid, like ice cubes. It's essentially an automated cryostasis system built into the frogs. It's amazing. Now, their bodies produce a special antifreeze substance that prevents the ice from freezing in the cells of the frog, which is key to their ability to survive in this state. If the cells were to entirely freeze, these frogs would die. The process is surprisingly simple. The wood frog's heart rate slows down until it stops beating completely, and they stop breathing to allow the ice to grow around their bodies. And when the weather warms up, the frogs thaw and are then able to feed and mate again. It's fascinating because these little dudes don't appear to even suffer any negative side effects from this adaptation. Number 6. The Sub-Saharan Silver Ant is the real-life equivalent to Colossus from Marvel. Well, instead of a human made of metal, it's more like an ant made of silver hairs. <sighs> maybe one day. Now, these ants live in the Saharan desert, as the name suggests, and the silver bodies are made of densely coated hairs that shine silver in the sunlight. And these silver hairs have been designed to reflect the most amount of sunlight from the visible and near-infrared bands of light, which means they reflect as much solar radiation as possible, which is important as the Sahara is one of the brightest places on Earth, receiving nearly 3,600 hours of sunlight per year. It gets better, because these hairs also help the ants emit the heat helping keep them cool. I bet you never thought that the hairs on an ant could be so important to their survival. Number 5. The bear live fish is a deep sea fish which has the unique adaptation of being able to look upwards through its skull. I can't believe something like this is real. It looks so alien. Their head has a transparent fluid filled shield that allows the fish to look upwards through its skull. It takes the phrase look above you to a whole new level because there is no other fish with such an ability. This transparent head is important to the bear live fish's survival as it allows it to use its extremely light sensitive tubular eyes that are capped with bright green and I mean like bright kryptonite green lenses to look above and see silhouettes of potential prey against the light from the sunlight zone of the ocean. When they catch their prey, they're able to then roll their eyes back down and focus on their meal. Forget about finding aliens on other planets. The deep sea is swimming in them. Number four, vampire bats are the only mammal that can feed solely on blood. 
These bats have sharp teeth that allow them to access their victim's veins while doing little damage to the skin. Think of them as little needles, sharp, thin, and precise. Once they inject their teeth into their prey, they then suck. Well, it's actually more like lapping, which is how dogs drink water from a bowl, to consume the blood of their prey. And they use their anticoagulant saliva that has an enzyme called draculin to break down the blood and make it easier to consume. And in non-scientific terms, it basically means their spit has the ability to break down the blood and make it easier to drink. These bats are native to the Americas, ranging from Mexico to Brazil, Chile, and Argentina. They live in colonies in completely dark places, like caves, old wells, hollow trees, mine shafts, and even abandoned buildings. It's due to the lack of nutrition found in these environments that these flying rats have evolved to have the ability to consume blood, which, mind you, is actually quite low in nutrients. It's crazy how they're the only mammals that are able to feed solely on blood. I can't believe it. Number three, Secretary Bird are native to the grasslands of sub-Saharan Africa. And these birds are known to have the longest legs of any bird of prey, accounting for about half of the bird's total height. This isn't just a flex on all the other birds of prey, it's their weapon of choice. And what I mean by that is that they use their long, powerful legs to kick their meals to death. It's surprisingly effective, as the lower two-thirds of their legs are covered with thick scales, letting them kick their main meal of choice, snakes like adders, cobras, black mambas, and even vipers all of which contain deadly venom. Since these birds are active hunters, they can cover large distances of up to 20 miles a day in search of food. And when they do find their meal, they raise the feathers on the back of their necks to strike fear in their meals and then stomp them so it's ready to eat. It's one hell of a way to cook a meal, that's for sure. Number two. Leaf-tailed geckos are basically real-life Pokemon, and yeah, the name does give away their strange adaptation, which is having a leaf as a tail. Can you figure out which one of these is the gecko? It's that one. Isn't it crazy? These creatures are found in Madagascar and its oceanic islands. You're probably wondering, well, that's a pretty obvious adaptation. It allows the geckos to hide in plain sight from predators. And to that I say yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. There's a wide variety of species of the leaf-tailed gecko coming in shades of tan, green, gray, and brown. The tails on these geckos also has the unique ability to store fat. So these lizards can go for extended periods of time without needing to eat, like in the winter. And they can also drop their tail if they feel endangered and need to run. Number one. The mimic octopus, like the name implies, is able to imitate more than 10 different marine animals, and it's stranger than you think. These octopuses usually chill on the ocean floor, but when in danger, they can impersonate the behaviors of other animals, camouflage with the environment, change colors, or do any combination of three that will keep them safe from danger. They don't only use their abilities to escape predators, they can also use it to hunt for food by mimicking how their prey behave in order to sneak up on unsuspecting animals or camouflage into the surroundings and get the jump on their upcoming meal. What animals can these shapeshifters mimic? Great question. Well, it includes lionfish, sea snakes, jellyfish, zebra soles, anemones, mantis shrimp, feather stars, brittle stars, giant crabs, seahorses, crocodiles, snake eels, stingrays, and more. Another question you might be asking is, how is this an adaptation? And that's a great question. Well, it turns out it's because the ability for the mimic octopus to mimic other animals isn't something that it learns over time. Rather, it's literally born with the ability to transform and shapeshift into all these other animals. You could even call them quite the tentacool creatures. Thank you.